Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad Designer Challenge. So let's get cracking. Friends, as you can tell, we are on my website, hlmodtech.com. I always tell you there are a ton of lessons. Today, I'm going to show you one. We're going to go to the circuits page, and if you scroll down, I have got a challenge called Lesson 11, How Many LEDs, 9 Volt Edition. So you may want to start with Lesson 1, just to get your feet under you. But after you do that, the challenge is to see how many LEDs you can light up with one 9 volt battery. Now, the reason we have a shout out today is because one of my 6th graders shared a solution with me. Friends, this is an extra cool part of Tinkercad circuits is that you can share them. You can share them to fix or you can share them to show that you did something epic. Before we go too far, friends, let me show you where Tinkercad circuits are and let me open one of my basic ones. So this is what they look like before you hit Tinker This. You can make them public or you can keep them private. This one was private. Notice it's got the wires everywhere and it's two LEDs and when I hit start, they light up if you build it correctly. If they don't light up, you need to figure out what you did wrong. If you're looking closely, check it out. I did not connect to the last wire. Now when we hit play, boom, both light up. You can also adjust your resistors. Notice how these are dim because I've got 10 ohms of resistance. If I make it 10 pico ohms, we can probably make that a little bit brighter. If that doesn't make it brighter, we can also do this and change to three batteries and instantly make it brighter. So these are the ways you can adjust, experiment, and learn about electronics, which is a ton of fun. So friends, I'm going to stop this simulation and let me show you what Jackson created. Just like any other Tinkercad project, you can paste the share link when somebody gives it to you. It will launch. You can check out how it's built. You can hit start simulation. Jackson added a switch and check it out. He's got one, two, three, four, five LEDs lit up in the nine volt challenge. So lesson 11 showed you how to set this up. The rules were you were limited to one battery and you got to see how many you can get to light. When he was done, he clicked send to and he used invite people so that he could share his link with me and I could check out his awesome creation. Friends, I'm not going to tell you what the record is, but if you want to follow the tutorial and send me your own version of it, I would happily check it out and I'll give you kudos for solving it as well. Really quickly, don't forget sharing is as simple as clicking, invite, generate, and copy that link. And you can share it with me on Facebook, Instagram, or Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech on all three of those. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if that doesn't work, you can also use my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got that page dedicated to Tinkercad with the sweet built-in messaging. You can paste in your share link, add some other information, and hit send to reach me almost instantly. If you want a bonus way to reach me, you could also use the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to connect with other tinkers and share your ideas about Tinkercad. Finally, friends, I want to say thank Thanks again to Jackson for finding the challenge and trying to solve it. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.